Hi everybody from a beautiful morning in Skyrim. I'm, I thought I was done actually with my little mini series of Legacy of the Dragonborn, but I thought I would add an extra little video to that series. And this one is Karagas's Tower. So this is the second home that you get, well third if you include the Deva Veza. Um, the third home then that you get from Legacy of the Dragonborn. I'll show you where we are on the map. Right over here. Karagas's Tower, there's the Ruins of Arkund, which is the dungeon that you have to clear uh, to get this place. There's Lagerspur right there, and Riften over there. And the dungeon was nails, I don't mind telling you. I personally found it quite hard, particularly that magma silo. That was a, a difficult bit for me. I'm a terrible jumper. I mean, bad. So, I actually had to install a cheat mod. <laughs> better jumping I'll leave you a description uh, just in case you find the same trouble great view up here isn't it and as you can see there's a landing platform for your Deva Veza wow the weather is terrible okay so I think all the museum staff have gone home uh, they come with you through the dungeon this little place will take you back to the beginning of the dungeon, although why you would want to go there to the beginning of the maze, I don't know. I don't know. So this is your home, or it can be. Personally, I prefer the safe house, but you know, this is here if you want it. Nice, uncomfortable looking stone bed. Bits and bobs in the chests. Nothing particularly exciting. And this particular area feels kind of under-decorated to me, but then it would, you know. I won't give you any spoilers, but if you go through it, then you'll, you'll see why. Look at the doors. Oh my goodness. Those doors were recommended to me. They're called Glorious Doors by a couple of my um, subscribers, and thanks boys because I love these doors they are so awesome so I guess this is what you call your main living quarters and down here you have a vault and um, a nice staff you'll find right there which gives you the teleport spell to get back here if you don't want to use your ship oh ruined books everywhere Handy for La Toria. She gives you treasure maps and things. So it's kind of, you know, a little library really with a vault. Some display cases and mannequins. Check that out. And this is another one of those dynamic vaults just like the safe house. So the more money you put in there, the bigger your display. can't actually go in there and Scrooge McDuck or anything, but it looks very nice. So it's a bit beat up, as you can see, uh, which I guess is just to be expected. There's a feature. This place has been forgotten about and buried for donkey's years. I've forgotten which door I came in now. I think it was that one. I'm deliberately leaving the thing in the middle and for the moment. Here's your alchemy and enchanting room, and this is very nice. This is my favourite room. I know the alchemy rooms often are. I wish there was a way of replacing these dead plants with some nice active soils. But there isn't that I know of. I like these little mushrooms bursting through the ground. And there's some potions to take as well as ingredients. And look at these little pots. How cute are they? Not sure I've ever read that book. So it's nice. I love the fireplaces. And that's very eye catching, isn't it? You notice it the minute you come in the door for your soul gems. It's a very groovy sound when you open it. It's 
so it's a nice room. Do you see what I mean about comparing it to the safe house? But then I guess, you know, if you need a home in this part of the world... It's as good as any. Okay, so this thing... <laughs> Transmogrifier. Look at that, it's so gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic looking piece of machinery. The idea is that whatever you might have in the way of a good looking item, so say for example, I wanted to put my sword in there, then if I just had a plain old iron sword, then I could put this sword in this receptacle, the iron sword in that one, transmutation subject, and then press the forge controls, and then my iron sword would suddenly look as fantastic as my current weapon. So that is a nifty thing. Nice. I love things being, you know, that bit different. And then down again. Just checking. <laughs> Here's your smithy. And a bit of an armory too. It's a bit of a mixed muddly. Practice dummy and targets. So, smelter, all the usual, and somewhere to display your bits and pieces, armour and weapon racks, quite a few of those on the quiet, and three anvils, because <laughs> you know, you just never know. I have absolutely no idea where Inigo has got to. He's just disappeared. Okay, so back up. There's just one more room to show you. I'll find my way back. Okay, so this is the last room. It doesn't do anything, it's just visually fantastic. I already killed myself once by <laughs> trying to look too far over the edge. I'll try again. Try and remember that, you know, I've got better jumping. There's no need for me to die. No. No. <laughs> Didn't expect to fall down through there. But look at this. It's amazing. Really gorgeous. So, I'll leave you with that view. I'll call that the end of this wee video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you soon for the next one. So this is the last room. And it's pretty fantastic. It shows you, you can look all the way down. Try not to kill myself. Oh. <laughs> oh my god.